And, and I'm like, well, hold on. There's a guy, Paul Whalen, has been sitting in a Russian prison for four years. Has LeBron James said a word about him? Has anybody in the WNBA worn a Paul Whalen t-shirt? Um, but there's a point I want to make about Brittany Griner and her situation and what LeBron said. Look, I can think on one hand that, yes, she's being railroaded. She is a political prisoner and a pawn, and that it's actually perhaps giving her like a death sentence or a life sentence for a jaywalking ticket, which is unfair. But at the same time, Mr. Whitlock, I don't have to like her and I don't have to give a damn. Let me just put it to you like this. This is going to be very unpopular. If that was Mario Cristobal, who was stuck in a Russian jail cell, uh, I would fly to Russia with a picket sign saying, you must free him. I would care about Mario Cristobal. Nobody has to actually care about Brittany Griner or have any positive feelings, given the fact she's been anti-American. So the story here is both can be true. She could be treated unfairly. And guess what, Jason? Me, you, and many other Americans, we don't have to care. Steve, I think you make a great point, and it's a point I, I wanted to get to, that this, this whole feeling like if you don't care about Brittany Griner, you're racist and you're part of the problem. And, and I'm like, well, hold on. There's a guy, Paul Whalen, has been sitting in a Russian prison for four years. Has LeBron James said a word about him? Has anybody in the WNBA worn a Paul Whalen T-shirt? Is anybody complaining about what makes Brittany Griner more important than Paul Whalen or any of these other 40 to 50 to 60 Americans incarcerated wrongly in other countries. And, and I'm sorry, if, if what makes her more important is the fact that she's tall and plays basketball, I don't care. Yeah. And, 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 and many people don't, there's, I'm tell there's, 60 minutes, th these aren't secrets that there are American political prisoners taken in some of these countries we have disagreements with, that they're trying to negotiate with this country. We don't care about any of them, and now I'm, I'm supposed to be ashamed of myself because Brittany Griner, who, take, Paul Whalen was a Marine. He, he's been accused of espionage, basically of trying to help America. Mm -hmm. Brittany Griner wasn't over in Russia trying to help America. She, she, she had said what she thinks about America, it's national anthem. She, you know, she, she had let it be known. She's not a big fan of America. And so, and now after the fact, I was listening, and I was driving in, I was listening to some people on uh, Fox News uh, talk about this, and they were reading the letter she wrote to Biden, where she's talking about her dad was a Vietnam vet, and on the 4th of July, we honor the veteran. And I'm like, th this is all a new perspective she wasn't saying any of this stuff when she wasn't coming out for the national anthem. When she was free and over here in America, it wasn't about the veterans. It wasn't about Vietnam veterans. It wasn't about the 4th of July. She didn't love Joe Biden. She didn't any of that. But she, she's like, and again, I've had uh, numerous relatives and uh, friends, numerous, enough. I don't want to say numerous, but enough go to jail and catch religion and make all kinds of promises and have a, adopt a whole new attitude once they're locked up. The moment they're free, they go right back to thinking and acting and behaving <laughs> the exact same way. I, I, you know, I, I'm not gonna name my, you know, my cousin's name, but I used to idolize a dude growing up as a kid. And you know, locked up, calling me, man, if you post my bond, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. As Soon as I posted the bond, never heard from the dude again. <laughs> And back on the couch, smoking weed. I mean, no jobs, ain't no jobs. You know? And, you know, 60 years. Anyway, I, I don't want to embarrass because well, I, right. I love so, the dude and just love it. Right. So now with this Jailhouse letter, religion. Right. So now with that letter, uh, Brittany Griner's Lee Greenwood, proud to be an American. <laughs> the irony of that. <laughs> Here, here's the issue with a lot of these people, especially the females. And this goes beyond race. But a lot of the females that are wagging the finger at all Americans and specifically men saying, if you don't care about Britney, you cause this, this, this and that. And you're racist and you're prejudiced and we must be protected. You know, my counterpunch would be this. Um, 
if you women who constitute about half of the American populace, if you actually supported the NBA, maybe Britain, Brittany Griner never had to go to Russia. How about that? Uh, this goes both ways. I, I'm sorry. Look, I actually do feel bad for Brittany Griner on a human level. Nobody should go through that. But again, multiple things can be true. She broke the law. Okay, let's not martyr her for that. And as the great Jimmy Johnson once said about his treatment of players, and this was one of the life lessons that I've learned from that great man. He said, I treat everyone fairly, which means differently. Now, if this was one of those athletes that loved America, espoused certain values that I agreed with, and wasn't a perennial malcontent, they'd be up here with me. I would be like, yes, let's free her. She was none of those things. So I have the right, whether you disagree, not to give a damn, which I don't.